Hey, and welcome to Studio Gono Odd Family. Today we're going to be speaking about how the idea of talent can affect us. How talent can affect us. Now, my experience with talent, talent in in itself is when, when most people think about talent, they think about an artist that's able to draw fairly well, you know, either fast or they are granted the opportunity they are gifted the opportunity from birth so you know examples of you know child prodigies for example you can see uh child prodigies such as and other artistic child prodigies such as So what I feel is that although they are gifted that opportunity from an, an early age, you know, I like to think in terms of levels. So, you know, everything is a level system. So even in terms of art, so you may, so the child prodigy may start out at level 50 per se. And, you know, it doesn't mean that, you know, you, you as an individual not being the prodigy can't achieve level 50 as well you may start at level one but it doesn't mean you won't be able to achieve the level 50 of the child prodigy and at the same time there are the people who are able to learn a lot quickly these are the people that can easily get into the zone or the flow state and they enjoy the process that in itself can be called talented because not a lot of people can access that flow state, that zone state in psychology, which is a state of hyper focus that you get when you play video games, play music, etc. Anything that gets you into that present state, that present moment. And all in all, I don't feel that it actually matters rather someone is a child prodigy or someone, you know, is talented enough that can, you know, learn faster. It doesn't mean that you can't achieve the same things as the other person. And there are also some psychological, you know, methods that can help you learn faster as well. And so it wouldn't matter who you are, because anybody can achieve the same thing, unless you're an autistic savant, you know, drawing the entire uh, New York borough from memory. Because that, that actually happened with this one savant guy who went into a helicopter. I'm not sure if it's New York, but it was someplace. This uh, savant dude went into a helicopter and he just observed the entire, he, sca he scanned out the entire area. And then after that, when he sc finished scanned out that entire area, he started drawing the, the background of that area from memory, which is really incredible and superhuman. And who knows, maybe we do, we also have that kind of capability if we can, you know, tap into our brain power 100%, tap into that human, that human potential. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Comment below what you feel about this video. And peace out. Also, 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 there's a bell button. Hit that subscribe button. And there's a bell button right below next to the subscribe button to, so that you can get notified to, as to when I upload. And yeah, peace for real.